Morning guys, happy Easter. Today we are in Potter Heim. We're gonna have a walk along the Norfolk Broads and a little look around the village and see if there's anywhere open. So come along. There's a few people about today enjoying the sunshine. Meant to get a lot of snow and out on the way in the next couple of days. So we've picked a great day to come up here and have an explore about. Well, the ducks are absolutely loving life. Oh, these lovely burgers and hot dogs. You can really smell the onions. There's the famous Latham's discount store, but obviously that's closed at the minute. Lovely little gift shop. You get some ice creams and fish and chips, etc. That's a gorgeous day to get an ice cream. a queue now foreman for some fish and chips but we are going to head this way down this little pathway which should take us on a two mile loop around the Norfolk Broad so it should be great. You'd have a cracking view of the river if you lived here. Well, this first part of the walk seems to be more on the field size and people's homes. Look at that lovely sailing boat. Always fancy going on one of these. Maybe one day. Sit there, have a drink, bite to eat. Well, I don't know if they're trying to park or whether they're gonna have a bit of a prang. Well, they've done well. They're spinning around. They're away. I'll tell you what, when these things get going, Quite sure what's happening here, if I'm honest. Stand by. Lovely little hold games here, we're just saying. Be cracking having one of these. Sit there having your breggy, a cuppa on a morning, a few bevies in the evening. So nice. But they're pricey as well. Well, there's plenty going on on the boards today. Like I said on my last video, something I wouldn't mind having a go at, paddle boarding. Another Kraken property. Looks like you can hire these Kraken properties through a company called Broads Escapes. So we'll have to have a look into that. We're now approaching an old windmill off in the distance. We were just saying, we don't know whether you could actually live in these on a more permanent basis, or whether they're a bit like caravan parks where you can only live in for so many months of the year. If you know, drop us a comment below. Oh, this one here looks like that's been sold. I can't imagine when they go on the market they last too long. Be interested to know what they go for. And there's the old windmill. Clearly not in use, and got its blades on it. Always fancied staying in one of them. Some places actually rent them out as like Airbnbs and little holiday lets and that. Be quite cool. Spot of this lovely white one on the other side of the river. That is proper nice. Looks sort of American fied. Is that a word? American fied? Well, it is now. Imagine sitting on there in the summer with a few bevies and get the old barbie out, it'd be awesome. Well I was then going to say to Marzi, I've got a horrible feeling we're coming to a dead end. But there's a, there's a bridge at the end here, which takes us across, right near the awesome windmill. It's so cool through here. Completely surrounded by water now. 
it's a proper little weaver's way tractor. Just notice this is actually someone's house. How cool is that? It's got a lovely little garden. There's a little bit there so you can put table and chairs. Quite a cool little table. Well, it's now approaching lunchtime. I have packed us a light bite to eat and a drink. So I think we're gonna try and find somewhere a bit further up so I can have a little munch. That's nice, isn't it? Wow, the water's flowing fast here. again for a day. Well we've left the main path for a minute because this is goes right out into the middle of nowhere. I'm sure the main broads it's right near these rushes somewhere. Well there's the back entrance to that lovely little cottage and you can also see the windmill in the background. The rickety old bridge over there which leads to the back part of the windmill. I don't know whether you can get cars or not up there, I've no idea. Well we're not sure how long this walk is for. Originally I thought it was about a two mile loop but we've walked two miles now and we're still going in the same direction and hopefully somewhere along here we'll be able to cross back over to the other side and on the other side we should get some really cracking views of the front of those properties we showed you earlier. What we got here? Potheim reed bed creation. Get another little distant shot of part of the broads. Definitely going to get another boat out again in the summer when restrictions allow. Oh, look at the state of the boat through here. Looks like it's been attacked by jaws. Blimey. Now we've got to go quiet through here. There's some ducks sleeping. Oh, sorry lads. Well, the ducks are moved, so I think we're going to have our lunch on this little bench. And this is our view. Lovely. You three aren't getting none of our lunch. You won't like it anyway. It's duck pate. <laughs> right, well, that's a nice light lunch because tonight we're going to have more of a roast type meal. So we shall continue on our way. That away. views are absolutely stunning and we couldn't have picked a better day to do it. We've been walking now for about three miles and we're now coming into another little built up area. We're just wondering if there's going to be a place to cross up here. Ah, this one's quite cool. Right guys, that's going to do it for today's vlog. we decided we're going to come back and do the walk on the other side because we've basically done five miles today already. 
and we couldn't find a bridge to cross over the other end so like I say we're gonna come back and do that another day cheers guys for watching I hope you had a great Easter and I'll see you again soon bye